All right, everyone, we have a crisis at the U.S. border. No, no, I don't mean the fact that the border is Swiss cheese, although that's been a crisis now for a couple of years, and there's really no intent by the Biden stewardship to address the issue, because the whole point is to have the border porous. They want that uh, unrest, and they definitely want the human slavery that comes with it. Problem is, we're now finding that the uh, number of human slaves that have been generated by Biden's border policies is way worse than anyone could have imagined. Now, I think that the total last year when they had uh, their, their sort of run up on, they had a scandal in which uh, Health and Human Services was unable to uh, contact a, a number of uh, migrant children who had come across unaccompanied, so they had been given to uh, effectively a guardian. A large proportion of them, about a third, disappeared from contact. We're now finding that the number stands at almost 100,000. It's over 85,000 unaccompanied minors that are unaccounted for in the system. So you know they're in the country, you've brought them over, but you can't actually contact them. There's no way to do it, which means that most of those, and in some cases, it might be oversight. Okay, the, the phone number that they've been given and the address has changed and the person hasn't yet uh, reached out to HHS because they're not taking their job as a guardian seriously. There may be some of those kids that turn up safe. Some of them are dead, most of them right now are being pimped out, and the rest are being worked in slaughterhouses and factory floors late at night by unscrupulous companies, thus appeasing the Republican Party and their corporate buddies. You really think that they want to get tough on the border either? The last time someone tried to get tough on the border, what happened? The House Republicans refused to fund it for the better part of three years. That was, of course, Donald Trump attempting to tackle the issue. Don, Big Don doesn't understand new American economics. He's stuck in the 80s back when you could be a corporate cutthroat. He doesn't realize that it's no longer about grinding your workers down. We need cheaper workers. We need workers that will effectively work for free because there's no paperwork on them. They're not even legally in the country. What's their wage? They get food sometimes, and then they get a kick in the ass if they don't uh, work hard enough. Sweatshops are a thing. I hate to tell you, but they exist all throughout the United States. Yes, there is child trafficking, so wonderful. Uh, hey, Biden, you've, you've saved the kids. After putting them in the Obama cages, you handed them over to people that in many cases are narcos anyway, and now they've decided to sell the kids into slavery. Or maybe they just chopped them up and ate them. Uh, do you think that the occasional cannibal or, you know, uh, solo child molester might be drawn to, hey... There's all these little kids here. I'll say that I'm a distant, you know, uncle twice removed or something like that because, you know, little Pablo here probably doesn't have anybody else in the country or he wouldn't be listed as an unaccompanied minor. Oh, I I'm his relative, sir. I I don't worry. Here's my contact details. You know, you don't have time enough to check whether they're true or not, probably. But now you have a whistleblower. Tara Rodas, who's going to be uh, going before the Judiciary Committee, actually, and spilling the beans with regards to how bad this crisis is. I suspect that the lamestream media will try to ignore it because it's inconvenient, especially when Joey just decided to announce another four years of his stewardship is uh, potentially on the table to, for the American people to eat up like rancid slop. So they'll probably try to hush-hush and say, or they'll deflect. If confronted about this by uh, the media, which won't happen, or on the street by a random passerby, which could happen, Joey will say, well, uh, the Trump administration left us a real mess on the border. We've been cracking down on fentanyl, by the way. Ha, ha, ha. He's dismissive of it. When this is brought up to Kamala, what's her response? She chuckles about it. So another HHS member is coming forward to give testimony. Uh, I'll, I'll read a little bit of it. Today, children will work overnight shifts at slaughterhouses, factories, restaurants to pay their debts to smugglers and traffickers. That's assuming that they ever get out of that debt. That's usually not the point. Some of it's servitude. You know, two years later, maybe you're free to go. Much of it is outright slavery, though. Uh, you don't want that person to go out in public. They'll tell the story about all the narcos and all the smugglers and pimps and stuff and where the factory was where they worked. Can't have that. No, they kill them when they're done with their contract. If they let them go at all, it's basically, hey, you're useless to me now, so you're allowed out the door. And then they shoot them the second that they walk outside for the first time in three years. Today, children will be sold for sex, she will say. Today, children will call a hotline to report they are being abused, neglected, and trafficked. By the way, most of them will be fucking ignored. 
for nearly a decade unaccompanied children have been suffering in the shadows. I mean, there's plenty of uh, child abuse natively in the United States to begin with. Now, now you've got a group of people that especially is vulnerable to that. Biden apparently completely uninterested in it, and everyone astonished that it's happening. No. When hundreds of thousands of unaccompanied kids are coming across your border, a proportion of them are targeted, because it's easier to target them, by people who wish to enslave them for some purpose or another. Who'd have thunk it? I never would have guessed. So yeah, our, the, uh, the happy-go-lucky, uh, bring-us-your-huddled-masses sort of border policy, well, let everyone come in, everyone deserves a shot to be American, this is sort of the selling point of the Democrats' open border plan. It's working so well now, isn't it? Well, yes, it's uh, simply wonderful. Anyway, uh, it, uh, uh, here's another little snippet, actually, really quickly. I thought I was going to help place children in loving homes. Instead, I discovered that children are being trafficked through a sophisticated network that begins by being recruited in their home country, smuggled to the U.S. border, and ends when ORR delivers a child to a sponsor. Some sponsors are criminals and traffickers and members of transnational criminal organizations. Some sponsors view children as commodities and assets to be used for earning income. This is why we are witnessing an explosion of labor trafficking, she will say. See, here's the thing. The thing is that the government is literally coordinating this. It's far worse than simply, hey, you've got a porous border, people came across, they weren't even processed, so they're just illegally wandering around, and then somebody with a white van, you know, snatched them off the street. That already happens, and it's bad enough. Now you've got a situation where they're misusing the sponsoring system itself to try to get child slaves. A third of the unaccompanied minors possibly fall into this category. It is many tens of thousands of individuals. Yeah, this is, this is the nicer, more comfy... See, Donald Trump was a stickler. He hated brown people. But I like them, and so I want them to come all ye faithful. And this is a kinder, gentler border policy. Well, I don't think that Donald Trump uh, had such a problem. I keep hearing that he somehow is responsible for the border crisis. Biden mentions this re uh, frequently, in, uh, in, on Twitter especially, which is hilarious. Um, I don't recall this kind of thing being as big a problem back then. Yeah, of course, you still had the problem of human trafficking, but if fewer people are coming across the border and you have time to process everyone, it's a lot easier to make sure that people aren't going with Chester over there and his friend Kinko Stinko. So, uh, yeah, I mean, oh, come on. Uh, you, you've got to be kidding me if you think that Biden's border is anything other than a goddamn wreck at this point. That's about all. Peace out.